Hello and welcome back to another video and in this one we'll be looking at the Nokia 8310. If Motorola's are more your thing, please have a look at my videos. I've just uploaded a video on uh, the Motorola Razr V3 and also the Motorola V547. But back to this one, a Nokia, and this is kind of my bag. I used to have Nokias all the time when I was growing up. Uh, this was released in 2002, um, part of like one of the premium um models i think it was known as the candy bar model because of its shape you know and its form factor you know we've got these uh the keys on here everything was really tactile and this was one of the smallest that, that nokia produced i think uh, although it doesn't have things like a camera it was quite far advanced and it had things like uh, a radio in it as well but we'll start with a condition report first of all i think the colors on this are really nice we've got this this gray and this graphite color the silver and then the orange that comes through and also some of this material is is see through. You can't particularly see on the camera, but you can see through that that uh, this section here, which is nice. But so you've got this kind of graphite grey behind the the protective cover. The keys are all looking fine there. Just make sure you're properly focused. Yeah, uh, and then as you come up, you can see there's hardly any scratches at all on the screen, which is nice. And this is all good. And then you come around the side. All in good condition, tiny little bit of wear just on that edge where the where the metal is, or plastic, silver coated plastic, uh, and you come around. So yeah, I'd say that's in very good condition for its age. Uh, and uh, let's fire the thing up. So this this actually came with a, a T-Mobile um, SIM card in it, so it might work on T-Mobile, but I ca I haven't tested when I well when I tried to test it, it wouldn't ring the top up because it's when you have a an old SIM card that's no longer in, in active, it sometimes doesn't. But I have been able to test with an O2 and an EE SIM card, and both of those show a network, and both of them allow me to call the top-up lines. So anyway, you slide off the back. There's the battery, the Nokia battery. Just bang that out as usual. And there's basically a plastic gate at the bottom. You push down, the gate will open. Take your SIM card, so here's the O2, and the EE would show the same. Uh, close the gate up and then put the battery inside just make sure you get the right bit with the right bit and click it shut and then to power it on power button at the top all lights up straight away you've got that uh, battery and that lovely uh, Nokia intro. So we've got the O2 in, for some reason it says BT Cellnet. Again, maybe it works on BT, maybe it works on T-Mobile, but I'm saying I, th I think it'll, it should work on O2 and E because they're ones where I've managed to call the line. So as I'll demonstrate right now, firing 4444, call. Now these don't have mobile phones in, uh, sorry, ah, speakers in, uh, but There you go. So you can hear that it's connected, and you've got you've got a signal there. Uh, in terms of the battery, so you've got a good signal. You can see the battery's full. I charged this up four days ago. Uh, it's been in the garage, which is where my workshop is. It's about five degrees at the minute, degrees Celsius, and uh, so it's pretty cold. And you know, it hasn't even touched the the, the battery. But as anyone knows, who had one of these old Nokia's. They would just last for weeks and weeks on a charge. So it doesn't surprise me that even if this this was probably the original battery, it is it's doing absolutely fantastic. So uh, function wise, you've got your power button on there. But if you remember, if you push it once as well when it's on, it gives you your switch off. Uh, off. But also as you um, you go through, and I think you can just push the buttons. Yeah, it will. Uh, switch off takes you to the, the if you move down that will automatically take you back to uh, switch off but this is where you'd have your different modes general silent meeting and you could also do a custom one as well we'll exit out of that and then on the side you've just got the volume uh, selection and i think that's the infrared uh, on, on the side so we'll go into here uh, i've done a factory re reset on this so for a factory reset you'd go into menus and you go settings uh, it could not phone settings, restore factory settings. I did that and it's one, two, three, four, five. It factory reset everything, but it still kept for some reason when I did this, it still kept uh, the phone's contact. So what I did was I then went into uh, names and then I was able to do arrays, arrays all and got rid of them that way. So that's all factory reset now. So let's um, have a little look through the, the menu and, and, and take a trip down memory lane together. So uh, menu, got a lovely navigation that came with Nokia, like, nice and simple, uh, simple to use. And if you remember those numbers in the top used to be shortcuts. So if you wanted like your inbox, I remember you could kind of shortcut, I can't remember how you start it, but you'd do, one one would take you to write a message and one two would take you to the inbox i'm just trying to was it would you just go one two 
one two one two hash no one two call no there's something someone remind me you could basically use those shortcuts and uh and navigate straight to where you wanted which is brilliant so anyway we've got our messages right inbox out box archive templates arrays when we go down we've got the call register so missed calls excuse me <coughs> so happens when you do th <coughs> three three videos in a wanna uh missed calls received calls etc and profile so you, we saw these from the from that uh, button at the start but that's where you could set up and customize them so in general you go in and you talk about how long you want the light to come on and uh, and what the what the tune would be and, and how loud how loud it would be so you have i used to have a certain setting at school so you could have it on silent but it's still vibrate in certain ways uh settings so alarm clock time call settings phone settings yada 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 uh games so what have we got with us game services settings so select the game so we've got snowboarding snake 2 bumper pairs and then back around again so let's have a look at snake 2 of course turn that up and select one player new game and away we go and if you remember you just literally use uh, two six eight and four to move your snake around Uh, and it, you can hear it playing and you'd basically your snake would just get bigger and bigger uh, as, as as you ate them and you try not to um, essentially kill yourself with your own tail uh, or the rage I mean the first one I don't think there's much difference between the first and second one but but there we go there's snake and let's have a very quick look I wish I could remember how to do that shortcut to just go five one select game uh, let's have a look at what snowboarding is to remind ourselves it's likely just going to be a kind of well, let's go. I'll tell you what. Let's go. Let's go for the big ramp. Let's... No idea what the instructions are. That can be me. New game. Yeah. In we go. Oh, yes. Let's have you. Select. Maybe uh, five. Five. Select and. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Next. Am I supposed to be doing anything here? good oh right so that that was me brilliant uh <coughs> right yeah terrible demo of of snowboarding but there you go let's go back into the menu uh calculator to-do list calendar infrared so yeah that's your infrared on the side radio now you'd have to have your headset in i haven't got a nokia headset to test i'm afraid and let's go back this way Radio, extras, voice recorder, voice commands, countdown timer, stopwatch, and finally services. And that takes us all the way round. Uh, it's really buggy, I can't remember how to do the menu shortcuts. Um, and they used to, we used to do all these things like star hash, four seven hash, or whatever it was, and you'd call things and they'd have, I mean, what's that even do? Unknown application. You, you had all these secret codes that everyone knew that you could type in and they would generate your serial number, all these kind of random things. It's uh, what, what a great time. Um, so anyway, uh, oh yeah, what, have, what else have I got to show you? So even though these things virtually never need them, you have a, um, a Nokia plug. So put that in. Really long cord on it. So there's two holes on the bottom. One's going to be for the headphone. One's going to be for the charger. Let's put that in, and that's just showing you that the the charger works absolutely fine. Uh, and then like some kind of tele shopping thing. You go, oh, but but wait, there's more. There's also this that came with it. Uh, so you can, uh, if you want to go out and about and give it some extra protection. Look at that. You are absolutely crushing it now with with that on. Um, so uh, in summary, this was the 2002 Nokia 8310. Uh, it's in, I would say, very good condition. You've literally just got a little bit of wear on the on the silver buttons there. Smallest amount on the screen, tiny bit there, but it's actually really good. I had a T-Mobile SIM in it, but uh, I haven't been able to to call up the uh, the top up lines, which is generally how I how I check if it has signal and if it's going to connect. Um, but it does on uh, O2 and EE. I factory reset everything using code one two three four five, 
and then we have had like a real nice reminisce through uh, through the through the menus and the settings. Uh, we had a look at Snake, and I did terribly bad at uh, snowboarding. And uh, yeah, I think that's the lot. If I've missed anything, or you can remind me how the heck you do those shortcuts, I would love it. Uh, but all the best. I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Uh, take care and see you.